Good morning, Miami Art Studio, and welcome to this year's first episode of Mass News Middle School Edition. I'm Ale Ordoñez, and my name is Issa Brow, and today is September 9th, 2022, and Mass News starts now. Every magnet has their own unique talent, but today they're being put to the test. Here's Alyssa Alvarez with this week's Magnet vs. Magnet Trivia Challenge. The history of our school is a topic not many know about. I'm Alyssa Alvarez reporting. Let's take a closer look on which magnet knows our school the best. I don't know. I have no clue. 2002. Like 30 years ago? <sighs> 8 years ago? Like 1995. Uh, 2010. 2003. 2000. Uh, I think it was a girl and her name started with a B. Uh, don't know. Uh, I don't know. Dr. Balsir. I don't know. <laughs> a girl? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Miss Brito. Let me say Dr. B. The wizards? Wizards? Wizards. Wizards? Wizards. Wizards. I do not know. Wizards. Wizards. I think it was still black. No clue. Blue, like dark blue. White? Blue and black? I'm guessing orange. White? Blue. Gray. 2018. 2019? 2002. Not that long ago. 2019? 2000s, I think. 2018 and 2016. 2011? Our winner of this week's episode of Magnet vs. Magnet Trivia was broadcasting. Thanks for watching. I'm Alyssa Alvarez signing off. Hey, you know which club I found interesting? What? Well, let's see what Anthony has to say about the Sekmi Club. With clubs just coming soon, sponsors are expecting old and new members to return. Sekmi is a great club for anyone interested in science and engineering. This is Anthony Ortiz giving you an inside look on how Ms. Martin is getting ready for Sekmi this year. In Sekmi, students have several weeks to create a final product and compete with. Students are put into teams of two or three and come once a week to work on your product. You can sign up to compete for the best banner, bridge, egg drop container, robotic hand, stem video, or water bottle rocket. So for Club Rush this year, um, we're going to be very techy. Everything that you're going to need to know about our club is going to be through QR code scanning, uh, including our application. So if students are interested in applying for our club, make sure that you have some sort of device to be able to follow the link to apply for our club. After students are done competing, Ms. Martin sets up a field trip to appreciate everyone's hard work. This year, Segme will be selling Krispy Kreme donuts to fundraise enough money for this year's field trip. I think we have one of the best field trips at our school. Um, we get water certified to do a lot of stay away trips so we can go camping, zip lining, things like that that you don't really do in other clubs because we work so hard. Sagmi is a great club for you and your friends to let out your inner creativity and problem solving skills. If you want to sign up for the club, make sure to pass by the booth during Club Rush. This is Anthony Ortiz signing off. Middle school open house just took place, and it has given parents important information about classes. Here's Izzy Grass with more on the topic. Last week, the first middle school open house took place. It informed parents on their child's learning environment. Reporting for Mass News, this is Isabella Grass. Open house consisted of the teachers informing parents on important information. Parents were educated on the importance of safety and the curriculum their child is taking. It's, it's the perfect opportunity for, for that parent to know what the curriculum is in the class. What does the syllabus look like? What are the expectations from the teacher? You know, as our children get older, um, you know, we're expected them to have a lot more um, independence and, and room to grow, but also parental involvement is kind of important. So it's important to meet teachers and see what environment they're in. Open House is a crucial event to attend. Parents get a better understanding on what to expect and what is going to happen throughout the school year. They get the chance to ask any general questions they have about the course and it will be addressed. In order to prepare for Open House, um, I had a short PowerPoint presentation communicating a few important topics to my parents that showed up. 
Many parents came out and participated in this special event. I would call this a successful open house. This has been Isabella Gross, signing off. This week's Friday to Sunday, we're expected to see temperatures up to around 90 degrees. But make sure you bring your umbrella because it'll be raining for those three days. On Saturday, bring your telescope at 7 to 10 p.m. with your friends or family to enjoy night stargazing. It requires a $1 fee. Thank you for watching this first episode of Mass News Middle School Edition. Please follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Mass News MS. This has been Ale Ordoñez. And this has been Isa Grau. Signing off.